Hey folks, do you write acceptance criteria in your Jira stories? Do you see these acceptance criteria with given when then, uh, or even just bullet points, or even just big rounds of text in your Jira cards that you get before a sprint starts? What if I told you that was a very inefficient approach? In fact, this it stems from a misunderstanding of what acceptance criteria are really about. See, we tend to think that acceptance criteria is something you write with a story to tell the team what they have to do. In other words, we use acceptance criteria as specifications. But that's the wrong way to look at acceptance criteria. The true role of an acceptance criteria or of a set of acceptance criteria for a story is to tell the business, to tell the product owner, to explain what the team has understood about a requirement. It's the output of a conversation, not the input. Your acceptance criteria should never be written in a finalized form before they get to the team. They should never be written in a given when then structure before the team sees them. They should never be given as a list of specifications that a story should do. Now, an acceptance criteria is something that the team writes together and shows to the product owner ratifies, if you like, with the product owner, that that is what they have understood. And when you do that approach, then you use techniques like example mapping or feature mapping or writing up tables on a whiteboard or writing bullet points on a whiteboard or mocking out screen designs to understand the requirements, to get the team on the same page as the product owner about what needs to be done and to understand the implications on the, on the implementation side. What are the implications when you need to build this thing? What other acceptance criteria might you need to factor in? How might that change the design? All of those things feed into your acceptance criteria and they come from the work that the team does with the product owner together. Then your acceptance criteria are truly a representation of what the application should do in business terms, what the feature should do in business terms, but that are actually realize, realizable and actionable. And that makes a huge difference. So next time you see a Jira story with a whole lot of acceptance criteria, what I'd recommend you do is delete them, start from scratch and get the team to write the acceptance criteria. Okay, that's all for today, folks. Thanks for listening.